Hello everybody and welcome to Tuesday Chats with Pastor Wayne. Well it's actually story time the last few times and it's going to be for the next three times because I love short inspirational stories especially Christmas stories. So you're going to hear a few inspirational Christmas stories. The first that I'm going to do for you is actually from Chicken Soup for the Soul Christmas Magic. And this story was written by Joan Clayton. And the story is called, It's the Size of Your Love. What greater thing is there for human souls than to feel that they are joined for life, to be with each other in silent, unspeakable memories? So hear this story, it's the size of your love. Our grown-up sons and their families have always filled our holidays with delight, but one Christmas stands out above all the others. After Christmas Eve dinner and the opening of gifts, we relaxed with full tummies in front of the crackling fire. The long legs of the men in my household sprawled across the carpet. Mom and Dad, Lane, our youngest son, began. It's so good to be back home. I want you to know that what you mean to me. I had such a happy childhood here. Remember our car, old Tom, and how we all teased him? Yeah, Lance added. Remember when Mark and I got in a paint fight and got white paint all over the brick wall? It's still there, too their daddy interrupts. Remember the tricks we did with Chow and the dish towel? Mark replies, and we'll never forget the miles you drove to see us play ball. Or the rock hunting trips and picnics, the boys reminisced. They set me up every time. I think they like to see me cry. In the wee hours of the night, our house becomes strangely quiet again. Those little boys who grew up so quickly were back in their own beds. The same familiar refrain from previous years echoed from grandchildren. Good night, Mommy. Good night, Daddy. I love you. The same clock chimed its soothing sounds, blessing me that everyone had come home once more. Grandchildren slept in sleeping bags on the floor. People snored all over the place. The next morning brought the chaos of taking turns for showers, drying hair, and doing laundry. The dining room held shoulder-to-shoulder -shoulder chairs, but hungry people didn't seem to mind. On Sunday morning, everyone flew around getting ready for church. I cooked breakfast in shifts, and found myself apologizing for the lack of room to my daughter-in-law, Connie. Her reply is something I will hold in my heart forever. It isn't the size of your house. It's the size of your love. Her statement reminded me what family is all about, especially at Christmas. Several days later, my beloved ones started packing to go home. I resolved not to cry. <laughs> Who am I kidding? It's the love I have that brings the tears. I watched them drive away as far as I could see. My husband took me in his arms as we waved goodbye. It's all about the size of your love. My Connie taught me that families are forever, especially at Christmas time. And everybody, I just need to remind us all that we are all part of God's family too. And the size of God's love is something that can only compare to a mother and father's love for their family. God is like our father and mother and loves us more than anything in the world. And the size of love that comes from God is something that we can all treasure every day of our lives, but especially at Christmas when he sent his only son to bring light, love, peace, and hope to our world. Hope you all have a very, very Merry Christmas.